This is Twit. So today I brought an app called Skit. Now there's a free version in the Play Store, but I brought the premium version. And I, if I recall correctly, it's somewhere like two forty. Yep, two forty nine to buy. Support your devs. Um, I bought the premium version because again, it was two dollars and forty nine cents. All right, that's have a cup of coffee in a major metropolitan area. Um, Burke, if you wouldn't mind, I'm going to show a quick little demo of this. Um, I just dropped in the link, the URL for the screen leap. Um, but I, before we get into that, I'm just going to very quickly give a rundown of what this is. So this app, um, it's kind of basically a, an APK extractor, which I don't, actually remember how I stumbled upon this. I just know that I found it in the play store when I was doing my, like every couple of um, weeks, I'll go in the play store and I'll just like download a mass of apps and see what is like worth using and what's not. And this came up in my, um, in my suggestions and I'm finding that it's actually a very useful app um, right now because I'm switching phones. I'm switching from the pixel three to the one plus eight. And I found that it's just useful in kind of buttoning up what I'm transferring over to the new phone and getting rid of apps, any deprecated uh, packages that kind of still exist on the Pixel 3. Um, and since we're stuck at home still, maybe this is a good time to consider doing a little bit of phone maintenance. And I would say that this is an app that can help you do that. So when you log into Skit, um, you give it all these, obviously you have to give it all the permissions because it's reading in, um, your app list. It, and, and I mean, it goes deep in on these apps. Okay. So, um, let's take the Android TV app for instance. So when you tap on the Android TV app, it'll take you to a screen. Now the mode, the UI that you see is a dark mode. And I had to go into the settings specifically to set up this mode. It's usually, uh, with a white background, but that's, again, something you can customize in the settings of the app, which is nice. Um, so when you click into each individual app, it looks a little bit like the screen that you're usually used to in the settings panel, um, but it's a little more explanatory. So for instance, I want to know what access to permissions Android TV has. So I would tap on the permissions um, and it will not only, usually when you're in the settings panel, it'll say, oh, this app has internet access why does this app have internet access? And what is what does that mean? So for um, developers, you kind of know based on what you have in your development documentation, like what it is that has access to. In this app, it tells you outright. So the Android TV app has access to the internet, which allows the application to access the internet. I know it sounds very self-explanatory, but sometimes if there's maybe like a shady app, as we were talking about earlier, that you want to check out, um, this would be a good app to use for that. And let me show you how to do that. Um, so when you go back uh, into the interface, and um, for those who are watching the visual stream, there's a bunch of other options. You can check to see what activities um, this app has can do. I, again, I don't speak developer. So I don't want to butcher what some of these things do. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep it simple. Um, so let's say you want to extract the APK for this. You would tap on the floating action button. Um, and it gives you several options. You can either open it, extract it into an APK, or you can go straight to the Google play store, or you can share the APK, um, directly through whatever, you know, the typical sharing menu. So when you extract it, it saves it as an APK in your downloads folder. And now let's say I would like to go and check out what this APK is about. So let's say you did download something from the internet that you were thinking about side loading and you wanted to maybe check to see that it was safe. So you would go into the analyzer in the tool section of this app and you would tap on the APK and um, it would basically give you the same screen that we were just at, but that's for any APK that's just downloaded on your device um, into the downloads folder. So maybe you go to APK mirror, you want to check something out. Maybe you download an APK from a random message board. That's the best uh, use case for this particular app. A couple other things that you can do here is I was talking about maintenance earlier. So as I was looking through this list, I actually noted 
noticed that there were some deprecated um, packs that I had some AR packs that I had downloaded. So let's see if I can find that again. I'm going to go really fast for the visual stream just to see if I can remember where it was. It was around here somewhere last I thought. So Playground is the VR um, is the VR uh, plugin whatever for <laughs> for the Google camera. And so I noticed here that I have a deprecated pack that doesn't work anymore. So you tap on that and you can go to actions and then you would delete it and it will not only uninstall this app but it'll un I'll uninstall all the packages. Now normally you would uninstall an app from the app settings screen, but in this particular situation you're uninstalling something that is just deeply living in your system folders. So we're uninstalling it. That's it. It's done. It's it's bye bye. Bye bye. It's finished. Um, a couple other things this does just gives you basic system information, um, whether you're rooted, how many applications you have, um, how much storage you're using. I am obviously at the very tail end of what I'm allowed on this phone. There's also a simple backup, uh, which will back up all of your apps to a basic text ed text edit file, which is very helpful to have in case your uh transfer between phones goes wrong or you just want to have a list somewhere that you can easily update. There's also stats so you can see what it is that is taking up all that location on your phone um, and cool little like uh, just tidbits is that it will tell you what apps you have and what version of Android they're targeted toward. So if you look at this graph, you'll see that a majority of the apps that are targeted are this like lime green uh, half of the circle. And that lime green is Android 10. So it's good to know we're targeted to Android 10. I'm also very curious to see which ones it is, which one of the apps are targeted toward Android 11. But we're not going to do that here now. Um, anyway, so that is that is Skit Premium. It's it's an indie app, as I like to call it. It's an indie developer in the Play Store. Uh, there's a lot of settings. That $2.50 uh, USD will go to developer to kind of help keep this updated. The app has its own built-in change log. It's, it's obviously an app that was made for developers, but... I found I found that it just has a lot of helpful little tools for kind of knowing what's going on in the system beyond what the settings panel can offer me. Oh, and of course, it extracts APKs. And if you're trying to learn how to do Android development, do it the way That's that helpful. I learn HTML. Just That's helpful. Break yep. it apart. <laughs> Going back, I mentioned nice. I mentioned I, I mentioned earlier in the show. I used to I used to hack at PC games, and I would I would extract the EXE file mm -hmm. and read the hex code to try. I'm like, okay, great, that's where the save game is, and then you, you figure out where all that sort of stuff is, yep. and then you figure out how to how to make it so you have unlimited lives. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Sounds pretty familiar. Been there, done that. Uh, or tried to, anyways. I don't know if I actually to, pulled yeah. it off, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> 